My name is Alexis, this is Bowie, and for my video log, I decided to do Bartholomew's Song as it was the movie that stuck with me the most this quarter. Written and directed by Dustin Daniel and Frank Lowell in 2006, it is a narrative with experimental and minimalist attributes of sound, lighting, editing, and cinematography that all expand on the idea that without art, we could survive, but we do not truly live to our human potential. This concept is crucial, especially in the cinematic age of Transformers 7 and Fast and Furious 80, 80 million that sets up cinema as less of an art form and more of a monetary transaction between audience and production company. The story follows Bart385, who is one of many mindless colony workers in a futuristic factory that make door silencers, which is a symbolic point I will touch on later. One day he comes across a music box that he hides from the others and plays in secret. From this discovery of beautiful music, his world slowly changes around him and he becomes more sentient of his prison-like surroundings. The inner conflict comes to a head when he kills the woman instructing them and sings the song on the music box to the rest of the workers. Our protagonist is eventually removed and replaced, but his act of defiance seems to have left a small, resonating impact. Reminiscent of many other dystopian sci-fi flicks, the color and lighting are painfully austere, from the fluorescent lighting to the seasick green tinge on the walls and floors, and helps set the scene of a very bleak environment. The sound in Bartholomew's song is very subtle, but incredibly important. Dialogue is slim to none in this film, and the fact that the Bartholomews are creating door silencers underlies the importance of being as quiet and unnoticed as possible in this world. That is why the noises we do hear, from the blare of the horn to the wiping of the knife to, most importantly, the music coming from the music box, seem so rich and full of importance. The climax scene of Bartholomew's song illustrates this point well, when Bart 358 takes the knife used for chopping up discarded door silencers and shoves it into the back of the female instructor. I would have liked to see how the Foley artists of this movie created that noise because it is disgusting in the best way possible. The messy, volatile noise juxtaposes the orderly and utilitarian nature of the rest of the film so far. It reflects the messy, volatile nature of human beings and forever distances Bart 358 from the rest of his cohorts. The editing and cinematography of Bartholomew's song are used in a very similar way to lighting and sound. The editing is extremely choppy, using an extensive amount of jump cuts, jump shots to lead the way of the plot in place of dialogue or other context clues. The cinematography uses basic stationary shots to mimic the robotic movement and lifestyle of the workers. This is where the experimental and minimalist design of the film are really prominent. Usually in movies, editing and cinematography hold the hands of the audience members and subtly lead them where the plot might otherwise be confusing or for interpretation. By experimenting with these two movie qualities, Daniel and Lowell paint Bartholomew's song with an artistic brush that explores and pushes the boundaries of narrative cinema, and furthers the point that creativity and artistic expression are vital lest we all become autonomous drones ourselves. With minimal lighting, sound, editing, and cinematography, Bartholomew's song is set as a stage where symbolism takes the main spotlight. One of my favorite symbols of the movie is the knife. We are first introduced to the knife when Bart 358 uses it to disassemble a defective door silencer. It has left a mark on the table from its unmoving residence and is wiped on the pant leg of the workers to keep it clean. It is with this knife that Bart 358 kills the female instructor and in a beautiful, iconic moment, wipes the blood on his pant legs. To me, the knife symbolizes the concept of free will and individual choice that is uniquely human. Before the introduction of the music box, the knife's use is limited in its action and purpose, much similar to the Bartholomew workers. It is only after 358 has been transformed by the music that he sees the knife as a catalyst of defiance against the system that he is oppressed by. Putting these two concepts together, we are led to believe that music, or art in general, awakens a sense of free will and freedom of choice to create or destroy, to sing or to stab, a choice that is at once terrifying, beautiful, and uniquely human. Thank you.